Hey, hey, what is going on YouTube? East Tactics here. And today I'm gonna to do a quick video on explaining the proper setup for your camber and the proper setup for your toe. Not only what it should be, but how to actually go about, you know, adjusting it and, and uh, locking it into place. So the key thing that you need to know is you want your camber and your toe both to be at either 91 and a half degrees or about 92 and a half degrees, which in layman's term, basically that's just slightly bigger than a 90 degree angle. <clears throat> so, so first thing you need to do is you need to kind of just set your vehicle down on a flat surface like I have here. This is just my garage. And you wanna, you wanna take and kind of level out your, your steering so that it's like centered. The rear, obviously it's gonna be what it is, but you wanna kind of adjust your steering in a way so that it's perfectly symmetrical on both sides. Now you'll notice if you look down from the top of the vehicle that the toe, which is in the front of the vehicle, is slightly at an angle like this on this side and slightly at an angle like this on this side. Now in the rear, the toe is like this on the on this side and like this on the rear. So basically like an hourglass shape or you can think of like um, one of the ways that I remember this concept is like a Black Widow's, uh, the emblem of a Black Widow. Now your camber is gonna be, when you're looking at the front of the vehicle, you can think of like a Black Widow spider. Well, its legs go down like this. So you want, that's the same concept that you want your tires to be um, all around. You want them to be angled like so, okay? You can already kind of tell that I've achieved the effect. Now, when you look at the camber, so what I've done is I found myself a piece of plexiglass and I know that this right here is a 90 degree angle. This is the 90 degrees and you'll notice that when I put it up against it, there's a gap there. Let's look at the back one. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's look at this one. So this one's right at 90 degrees, which is actually not what I want. I want it to be canted slightly negative. You can see that there's a negative cant in the rear one. So notice the space. That might actually be a little bit too much, but this rear tire is actually having some problems, which I'll explain to you guys in a second. I'm gonna put my other tires on So these right here are actually some tires that back in the day I did balance. I made a video on them, so I don't know if they're still balanced though, but let's check them out and see. You can see that the front end is towed out. You can see that pretty clearly here. I definitely would say it's a little bit easier to do this with tires, with your stock tires. So what we're checking for is just to make sure that we don't see a drastic difference in the cant when it's spinning. Okay, so my rear one, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it is actually towed in more than it should be. I'm gonna show you why. So you can actually see right here, right there. See the corner of my hot racing uh, rear suspension mount is actually bent. And it's basically, this whole section is kind of knocked forward. And I've actually got to either go back, I, I need to remove that and bend it back. Or I'm just gonna pick up a new, more quality one from MTC Racing. 
here in the near future. So, in order for you to set the camber on your vehicle, you've got to basically check to make sure that your tires aren't squampus. So now that I've changed the tires to my stock tires, this tire is going to be a little bit more difficult for me to get a good measurement on because it's already the toe is jacked up. Now in order for you to adjust the tire so that the cant is actually at around the 91, 92 degrees is by adjusting your turnbuckle and this right here is a little tool that I picked up off Amazon. I've got a couple of different um, tools that I've kind of dropped links to in my description in the master list. I ordered this one and it actually shipped from, I don't know, probably China or something, but it took forever. And so I really actually don't recommend this one. Okay, so now that you guys got an idea of exactly the concept of the way the tires are supposed to be taking into account defects in the tire or taking into account defects in the, you know, the way the tire mounts to the vehicle. Um, you know that the Black Widow figure for bashers and wins. Now, if you're, you know, setting the camber in tow for a speed runner, then you're gonna obviously have your vehicle much lower to the ground. You're gonna set your toe completely different. You might actually have your toe more straight. Now, again, the exact angle, if you really wanna get out like your measuring tape or your angle tool is 90, between 91 and a half degrees and 92 and a half degrees, okay? For all of the situations, whether you're dealing with the toe or you're dealing with the camber. Okay. So now the next question that people are, you know, sometimes unclear about is how to determine which way to rotate your turnbuckles in order to achieve your proper camber. The, the turnbuckle here is actually designed to impact the toe in the front. However, in the rear, so there's really nothing you can do to, to like adjust your toe in the rear end. It should already be, you know, canted like this inward um, from the manufacturer. However, in the rear, you can adjust the camber, and in order to do that, you need to adjust the turnbuckles in the rear. So the rule of thumb for adjusting turnbuckles is basically, you don't really want, okay, so you'll notice that there's a notch here, and it's the same, the notch is on the, on the right side for all of the, turnbuckles, okay? So the notch is on the right side for every one of them, which basically is just telling you that you're gonna turn all the turnbuckles the same direction to achieve your goal. Here's the thing that you run into though. Different manufacturers are going to braid their threads differently, and here's the rule of thumb, okay? You have to basically look closely, and you can see that the threads on this thread is angled like this okay now if you look on this one you can see it here as well the angle of that thread again is like this so this is this is the angle of the threads on both ends and the and so what you need to do is you need to roll the turnbuckle toward the wider opening, meaning since it's wider toward me, then I'm basically going to grab and then turn, grab, turn, grab, turn. Now, if the threads on this turnbuckle happen to be more like this, then I would angle it toward the wider opening, meaning I would grab it and turn, grab it and turn. So in the case of Arma, and it's probably the same for all of their vehicles, the threading is more so this, which means you're gonna be turning toward the, the wider opening, which is basically what? Clockwise? So clockwise for all of your turnbuckles is actually going to tighten 
the turnbuckle, meaning it's gonna bring the, the gap closer. The opposite direction is gonna expand it. So in order to get your toe to adjust from the top end inward to where you have this 91, 92 degree angle, then you want to basically adjust inward by coming clockwise. And if you wanna go the opposite direction, you're gonna go counterclockwise, okay? So that's the rule of thumb for the turning. Now, when it comes to the front end of your vehicle, how do you adjust your, your um, you can adjust both your camber and your toe on the front of the vehicle. So the way you adjust your toe, because the way that the design is for the turnbuckle, it actually, you know, juts out way over here, it's actually going to impact your toe. So you want this angle to be, instead of it being perfectly 90 degrees, you want it to be 91 degrees, barely out, okay, or 92 degrees. Okay, so that's how you adjust the toe. Now, the camber, you can adjust on these vehicles. You'll notice that when you get your vehicle, it's gonna have a washer here and a washer here. And I've removed both of my washers on mine because with them both removed, I still end up having that slight angle that I want. However, for whatever reason, some people's, you know, whatever, if it's a manufacturer thing or if it's just the way your vehicle is, or if it's a different brand of vehicle or whatever, um, some people don't have the fortune of being able to just remove both of those washers. So if that's not, if that's the case, then you want to basically leave that spacer in and the more space, like if you put a spacer here, but you don't put a spacer here, then you're gonna achieve the, the effect of camber in the front end. In the, in the case of the top, you're always gonna wanna probably just remove that spacer. I have another video right here. Watch this video, and the reason why you wanna remove that spacer is has to do with you know your um, outdrives and basically preventing your dog bone from ripping out of your outdrive. Um, the, the top one, remove the spacer, and you'll always want, obviously, you'll always want that one to be in as far as possible because the goal is to have that negative camber. So that's how you set up your vehicle to have proper um, camber and tow. Let's get my, my vehicle back over to the ground now that we put the stock tires on it. And first I'm gonna adjust them to where they're Parallel on each side. Looking down from it, I can see that I, other than that tire being jacked up from the correction I need to make with the new rear suspension mount, because it's you can kind of tell it's overly tweaked. All my tires are looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and set this down. So that one looks good. That one looks good. This one doesn't have quite as much inward tilt as the front right tire. So I might consider, you know, putting a little washer in there at the bottom on this tire. But I do think it kind of odd that this one would need a washer and that one wouldn't. But so it's kind of up to you if you want to go ahead and, you know, make unique adjustments to different sides of your vehicle. Obviously this one, it's got the right um, camber, but the toe is way, way off, I could tell. So I might actually consider putting a washer in on the bottom of this one and kind of correcting whatever shift has happened in the center of my vehicle here on a hard landing or whatever to kind of make my, my front system a little bit tweaked. Um, to counter that, I, you know, like I said, could just put a washer in on this one. I'll leave this one alone. So basically that's the gist of it, guys. And you know, having correct camber and toe is not like that game changing. But for those of you that are interested and who wanna know what like the ideal setup is for your vehicle, you can adjust the way I mentioned. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. I do know now that I need to go in and basically repair that back rear tire because it's just tweaked pretty bad. Um, you know, and these are the kind of things that you find out when you do a close inspection 
on your vehicle to see just where your camera and your toe are currently sitting. You will, you'll find that your, your system might have some minor tweaks in different areas that you weren't even aware of. So it's, it's a good thing to go in there and, and take a close look. So as always, thanks for watching my videos. I took the tire off and if you look close, I added in a washer, okay? So now my camber on my front is right where I want it. So simple as that. This side does not have a washer because for whatever reason, the camber on it is fine. So now they are both matching and that is the goal. So. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this process or about the details of it, or if you have any comments you want to make, leave a remark in the comment section. Um, also, you know, just remember to check out the description for, you know, links to whatever products you might be needing, one-stop access to all your ARMA needs. And um, also check out my library of videos. You know, if there's other videos that you guys want to look into that want to help you with your vehicles, especially in the ARMA lineup, I've got something made, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, if you guys have a request or something that you are, you know, would like me to make a video on, let me know. I'd be happy to do it. So anyway, guys, East Tactics out.